really depends on on um, how much there is appointment uh, involvement and what compartment is mostly like what I call like the has the highest disease burden. So is the is most of the disease in the skin or is it mostly in the blood? Um, is there like um, significant lymph node involvement um, or is there minimal lymph node involvement? Are there other you know visceral organs involved or not? But in general, for very early stage disease, um, meaning if there are like few patches and plaques um, or limited, um, or there's limit, this the disease involvement is limited to the skin, um, we prefer um, skin directed therapy. And there's a wide range of skin directed therapy that we offer um, from, from topical steroids to topical nitrogen mass steroids. Um, to topical retinoids, um, and then beyond that, uh, phototherapy that also has a range from narrow bands to PUVA, what we call, uh, and um, and total skin um, electron beam irradiation. Um, that's the spectrum, um, roughly, of like skin directed therapy. Uh, a lot of times, if even early stage patients are resistant to skin directed therapy or continuously have relapse, or you know their quality of life is compromised by um, our skin directed therapy. For example, they have a body surface area involvement that is really hard to reach to put topical steroids, or their work schedule doesn't allow them to come to the office three times a week to get phototherapy. Um, then a lot of times we do combination of skin directed therapy and uh, systemic therapy, which are either like oral medications um, for, especially for earlier stages. Um, and then for later stages, then we go mostly to systemic therapies, um, which are, can be like oral retinoids or methotrexate or interferon. And um, okay, and there's like a lot of clinical trials right now that are, that uh, that bring a lot of hope for for a new um, therapy for 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 subpopulations of patients. So so we can more and more customize treatment for our patients and needs. Um, and then also there are mono chemotherapy agents um, that we occasionally use, um, depending on again where the disease is most bothersome.